We're doing a cornhole tournament for uh, Bennett Dornellis. He was involved in the kidnapping incident here in Anderson in May. He was kidnapped by his biological father, and there was an incident down there where he was severely burned in Georgia. So we're doing a cornhole tournament to raise some funds for the family. Chelsea's mother, she's been with him the entire time. We're raffling off items, just trying to raise as much money as we can for the family to help that burden. Having no idea what to set the limit, whenever you set a GoFundMe, you've got you to put a, a goal. Uh, we started out at $7,500. We've raised over $68,000 so far for Ben. It truly does show that God has his hand in this. I'm just so convinced that uh, God was with Bennett uh, during this tragedy. I'm, I'm, I'm so convinced of it. I mean, the, the, the injuries to the, the child were extensive. Yes, so, absolutely. I mean, I'm sure are huge. So, I mean, why are you doing this? We see a lot in this business. And when you see it to a three-year-old child, an intentional act of that severity just pulls on your heartstrings. Been a lot of tears shed, a lot of sleepless nights for a lot of tough individuals that work in this business. Immediately after the event, uh, all these guys wanted to go see him. Obviously, you know, that wasn't something we could do, but raising money for the family, still having that somewhat of a personal touch with the family was something that we could do. So everybody that was involved in the event that day jumped on board immediately. Ben has done really well. He is hopefully coming out of the ICU this week. He has all his skin replaced. So now we're in the rehab process of physical therapy and getting him back to full strength. What's his demeanor? How's he <laughs> accepting all this as a kid in the hospital? He is feisty. He doesn't want to do it. He's not going to do it. He will. He has very little strength, but he will put up a fight. Says and doctors in a heartbeat. It's good. We want him to be a fighter. That's why he's got as far as he has got. This benefit from the Anderson County Sheriff's Office has been amazing. Just to be able to put a face with a name with some of the officers that we have talked to during this process and that have played a hand in saving his life. Because what people may not understand is that this chase started here and the same deputies were at the end too. Yes. And they saw the fire and they helped bring it back in. Tell me what they told you about that. So it started in Anderson County and was followed into Georgia until Georgia State Patrol came in and took lead, I think, once it crossed the state lines. It wasn't a, we work for this county, we work for this county. It was a, we have a child's life that we need to save, so we're going to jump in and, and do it together. Until we get the opportunity to meet Bennett formally, this is our way to kind of meet him and touch his life the way he's touched ours.